In this video, we're going to talk about how to export airfoil points from a wing or a wing type surface in OpenVSP. And in the file export window, these two are found down here toward the bottom. And let's use the dat file export first as an example. So in our example model here, we have a NACA 4412 at the root and then a NACA 2410 out at the tip. And so we only have this one section here in the middle that's being interpolated. So we'll take a look at that in section. You can see we've got numu equals three. The reason I did that is because in your model, OpenVSP will export every single one of these interpolated slices as its own airfoil. It assumes that is what you want. So for very complex wing geometries, that's a very good thing because you can get each individual slice in whatever resolution you want all the way out. I'll also point out here that under the general tab, the numw will be the number of airfoil points in the coordinate files. So in this case, we're just using 41 to keep things relatively small. So let's take this back to three. So we only get this one interpolated section here. When we click on our dat export, you can see that we can, if we want, bump up the w tessellation factor, which basically puts a factor of how many extra points either greater than or less than one, get resolved into the DAT. And we can, of course, append the geom ID to the airfoil file names. That just lets you know where they came from. So we click OK, choose this CSV. Now notice we're not exporting the files themselves. We are exporting a metadata file. And we'll get into what that looks like here in a moment. And click Accept, OK. And so the metadata file itself looks like this. And really, this is just saying where it came from what component file name it is, what it belongs to, the geometry ID, and it's saying, where did it come from? So the airfoil index for the root here was zero. We've got this uh, cross-section surf ID, and then where it was located on the wing. So in this case, this was the root, where the global U was at one third, leading edge, trailing edge, etc. because we did have 10 degree of incidence in this wing. So further down, here's our interpolated one where you'll notice that because we did have that incidence, it's not really at two and a half feet of cord. It's kind of somewhere in the middle because it's kind of twisting about itself. Out here at the tip, we have the third one. And so what does that all mean? Well, here are the individual DAT files that get written out that are associated with that. And you can see here, we're going from trailing edge to leading edge, back to trailing edge. And we have that for our root, for our tip, and for our interpolated one here. So each one of these has a set of coordinate points in uh, your airfoil space that will go and wrap around. And so you can plot these, you can bring them into a panel solver, what have you. Our other option that we have is the Bezier airfoil curves. And that's all almost the same, except when you export these out, it's going to have a slightly different flavor of file. Now this is actually the Bezier representation of all of the little segments that make up that airfoil. And so in this case, there are 88 Bezier segments that have to do with these airfoils. And just at the root here, you'll see that we have the order, the beginning and end T value, your control points, etc. So this first one right at the trailing edge is only first order and both of the control points are on top of each other. Everything else beyond that is a third order Bezier curve and all of the control points are written out for you here. So if you want, you could certainly go in and rebuild the underlying Bezier curve of this airfoil using this format. So that is a couple of different ways that you can use the airfoil file export tool in OpenVSP to extract these interpolated sections.